The one-off series back in 1957, but 650 episodes later, the sky at night is still helping explain the wonders of our universe. However, the special anniversary program is being broadcast in its worst ever time slot, at 5 to 2 in the morning. When it began, the Sputnik satellite had yet to be launched. Since then, it has every month been the BBC's window on the universe. And the man who has presented every program, bar just one, is, of course, Sir Patrick Moore. Well, I'm afraid I haven't got any space rockets in my garden, but I have got a couple of big telescopes. And the my idea was to try and bring astronomy to people to inspire them and to help them, particularly youngsters. And that's what I've tried to do all the way through these programs. I say, whether I succeeded or not, well, that's left for others to judge, but I've done my best. Ron, let's begin our tour between the planets. Right. However, occasion, long life hasn't meant big one. budgets. Now, this is a program which has had to take an innovative approach now, to explaining the mind-boggling mysteries of the stars. This was constructed in your kitchen yes. a few moments ago. <laughs> with a lemon and two hoops. <laughs> yes. And it has also had to contend with the problems of stargazing in a country flooded with streetlight and obscured by a crowd. This special 50th program was live and they saw nothing. But at the present moment, unfortunately, we run into one of these banks of cloud. I can't no. see a single star at the moment. It's totally obscured. To the try moon and get this. is just being awkward. How absolutely typical. There's nothing we can do about it. But today's 650th program may pass some people by. It's on at 5 to 2 in the morning. And for the first time in his career, Sir Patrick is furious. Our 650th anniversary program with Pierre Sellers, the British astronaut, who came down here specially to do the programme, and it's going on at 5 to 2 in the morning. And I am not pleased. It may then not be top of the ratings, but with one man presenting for 50 years, it is unique in the history of broadcasting. David Soletto, BBC News. And I'll be speaking to the world-famous astronomer himself live in the next few minutes. Now, the former home of the American author Ernest Hemingway in Cuba has opened to the public after three years of restoration work. The 150th episode, which of course is due to be screened tonight. Well, the programme's presenter, Sir Patrick Moore, joins me on the line now. Thank you very much for your time, Sir Patrick. Nice what to hear you. What can we expect to see if we tune into your programme tonight? Well, to go on at 5 to 2 in the morning, I must admit I am really rather hurt about that because it was a dumb Pierre Sellers, the British astronaut, who came over especially to do it. And I think going on at uh, 5 to 2 in the morning after a long old American film really isn't what happened to Sears and myself. Because I, I've done it in there. And after all, quite recently, the programme schedule forgot our monthly sky at night completely and had to take it in a week later. So we were a week late. So quite clearly, she is not one of our greatest fans. <laughs> what can you do to, to make the schedulers put it on a little bit earlier? Nothing at all. If, uh, the programme program schedule, I must decide, it's a, must be her decision. I have no say in it at all. But I have written the letter of personal publishers, it appears. But looking back over the last few decades, the programme has an incredibly loyal following, doesn't it? It has indeed. It's been going for very nearly 50 years now. We have our 50th anniversary next April. And by the way, the longevity has nothing to do with me at all. It's a programme's interest. And we have seen so much. We began before the space station. Many of the world's leading astronomers have joined us. And of course, people like Neil Armstrong also. And now, Pierre Sellers. And what have been the highlights over the last nearly five decades for you? I think myself, a rather curious one. 1961, when the Russians sent their first probe on the far side of the moon and got back pictures of the far side we can never see from here because it's always turned away from us. And I was on the air live when those pictures came through, and the Russians had used some of my own moon shots to tie them up. So that was a great moment indeed. And you mentioned that tonight on the programme you have a special guest. Tell us about him. Well, Pierre Sellers, the active British astronaut, just down from the space station, and made time specially to come and do an interview with me. We've had a half-hour interview there. So I, see, I hope it will be enjoyed by both the people who stayed up to see it. And looking at the future of astronomy now, how popular is it among, say, school children? It's popular everywhere, and then the astronomy is just about the only science where the amateur can make real contributions. And amateurs 
do valuable work and working with professionals. And after all, every scientist has got to begin. And I like to think that over the last half century, the sky at night has brought quite a number of people into it. We try to inspire youngsters. Whether we have or not, that's up to others to decide. Sir Patrick Moore, thanks very much indeed. And of course, just to remind everybody, that programme is on 5 to 2 on BBC One tonight. So I think it's going to be a case of setting our videos. Now, police in Athens are preparing to enforce new rules limiting the scope of demonstrations in the capital. Protests by less than five.